Hi everybody, welcome to Live Aligned. My name is Liv and I will be taking you through a 10 minute glute focused Pilates class today. Please remember to listen to your body, take this class at your own pace and most importantly enjoy this time for yourself on the mat. Let's get started. We are going to start in a kneeling tabletop position today. Starting with our cat cow stretch. So dip that belly, lift the chest, the gaze and the tailbone up towards the ceiling. And then tuck that tailbone, tuck the chin and round through that back, separating the shoulder blades. Inhale as you dip the belly and gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale to tuck and round, pressing through the hands. Taking one more in your own time. Maybe circling those hips or rocking side to side. Taking any extra stretch as you need to here. Finding your neutral spine, let's thread the needle for another stretch. Reach your left hand up towards the ceiling and then thread it through and underneath the right. Bringing your left ear onto the mat. As you inhale, feeling the mid back, the upper back expand. And as you exhale, feel those shoulders stretch out. Press into your right hand, reach your left hand back up towards the ceiling. And then replace the left hand on the mat, coming into the second side. Right hand reaches up towards the ceiling on an inhale. And as you exhale, Thread that right hand through and underneath the left. One last big breath in and out. Press into your left hand, reach your right hand up towards the ceiling and then place your right hand down onto the mat. Let's get started with our glute exercises. So we are going to hover our left knee up off the mat and reach that leg back up and in line with the body, straightening the leg behind us. Then bend that knee back in, squeeze that glute to extend the leg. Strong through those shoulders, strong through that core. Reaching long through the leg as you extend it behind you. And let's start to add on. So one bend, one extend. Keep that left leg reaching long behind you and then sweep and tap the foot beside you. Lift it back up, sweep it back behind the body, bend the knee back in. Adding on in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go bend, extend, sweep and tap. Lift that leg up and back behind the body and then flex the foot hamstring curl, bending the knee, re-extending and then starting again. Bend, extend, sweep and tap and lift. Flex that foot for your hamstring curl. Feel that hamstring, the back of the leg, squeeze as you bring the heel towards the glute. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Let's keep our leg lifted and just do that hamstring curl. Check in with that upper back. Have you started to sink through that chest? If you have, press through those hands, separate those shoulder blades. We're here for three, two, and one. Bend the knee, keep the leg and the foot lifted, and let's go for little pulses up towards the ceiling, squeezing the crease of that glute, pulsing for 10. 
nine eight seven six five four three two one lovely let's change the position of our arms we want to bring our right forearm down onto the mat and press our left hand into the mat beside us coming into our fire hydrant keep the 90 degree bend in that left leg and then lift to open the knee out to the side and close lift and close that's it Adding on, let's lift the leg, keep the knee and the thigh lifted, extend the toes towards the back of the mat, bend the knee back in and close the leg down. So we lift, extend, bend and return. Here for five, four, three, two, one, let's go extension only for 10. That's it, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg lifted. Can you circle for five, four, three, two, one? Reverse five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. Step that foot all the way around to the front of the mat. And let's take a lunge. Sinking into those hips. Let's take a pigeon stretch here. So just bring the knee and the shin down onto the mat in front of you and extend the back leg long. Sitting up nice and tall here. Feeling that opening through the glute muscle. And you can stay here or you can fall forward falls. Start to walk your hands back towards your body if you've taken that forward fold. And then find yourself back onto your hands and knees for the second side. So let's get back into it, starting with our bend and extend. So find your kneeling tabletop position, hover that right knee up off the mat and extend that leg long behind you. Bend the knee back in, that's it. Right back to the beginning. Reaching through those right toes. Strong through that core, little check in. Lovely, let's add our sweep and tap. So we bend, extend the leg long behind us, sweep and tap the floor beside us, lift and return. Let's go, bend, extend, sweep and tap and lift. Here for another five, two, and one. Let's go bend, extend, sweep and tap, and lift. Now flex that foot for your hamstring curl. Re-extend, start again. Let's try and keep our weight centered. So we don't want to lean over to that left side too much here. We've got our hamstring curl only coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Lift that leg back up in line with the body, flex the foot, and then feel that contraction as you bend the knee, bringing the heel towards the glute and then re-extend. Bend it in with control and re-extend. Keeping that knee lifted up in line with the hips. Drawing that belly in. If you need to come onto your elbows and forearms, you can if those wrists are getting a little tired. We have our pulses towards the ceiling in three, two, 
One, bend the knee, flex that foot, try and kick that ceiling, little pulses for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, bring that knee down, lovely. Change your arm positioning. So half up, half down, bringing your left forearm down onto the mat, planting your right hand into the mat beside you and coming into your fire hydrant to keep the bend in the right knee. Just lift that knee out to the side and close. So we're opening our chest up slightly, opening those hips slightly so we can get a nice lift of that right knee. Let's add our extension, lift that knee, keep it lifted, extend that leg long towards the back corner of the mat, bend the knee back in and close it down. Lift, extend, bend and close. We're doing so well, we're almost there. Let's do our extension only, so keep that knee lifted, extend and just bend it back in, extend and bend. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg extended, let's circle for five, four, three, reach through those two and one and reverse, three, two, one. So good, step that foot all the way around for your lunge and sink those hips. All the hard work is done. Nice deep breaths here. Transitioning into your pigeon stretch. So bring the knee and the shin down onto the mat in front of you and extend that back leg long behind you. Even through both sit bones. Beautiful, sitting up nice and tall here. And if you want to walk those hands forward and take your forward fold, go for it. Walk those hands back if you're in your forward fold and find a child's pose stretch. You can have knees wide, feet together. You can go into your narrow child's pose stretch, whatever feels good and restorative for you today. Taking some nice deep breaths here. Feel free to stay here or take any other stretches you would like to take today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our first class together. I'll see you next time. Bye.